Now let's go to romantics. Totally opposite direction. 100% yi energy, female energy. She is normally small looking, petite, wider bones, shorter bones. For them, their hair looks best when it's set, ornate, but not stiff, and rounded and layered. They don't look as good in geometric and blunt haircuts, or wash and wear, or very stiff. They need something flowing, airy. So now let's look at the most famous romantic, Marilyn Monroe. She sometimes was wearing bangs, and all her bangs were rounded. So is the rest of her hair. From time to time, this was slightly wispy and a little bit layered on the ends. You almost never could see her ends being cut like that, so you would see that very blunt cut. All her hair was seamlessly going to the very Ends. So you can see on those pictures how beautiful they styled her fringe. Sometimes the beautiful side swept. You can say it looks slightly like soft dramatic hair. Yeah, but soft dramatics have much fuller and more angular, heavier cuts. And these ladies look better in slightly softened ends. And even some wispiness, you know, they have light bone structure. The visual weight of their faces, of their bodies, is not heavy. So same with hair. If she has some wispiness here, it doesn't look too little on them. Christina Ricci. I think somebody told her that she has big forehead and round face, and she needs to correct it. Because at one point, she started making that very angular haircut with bob and fringe. I think in order to cover the rounded sides of her face and also big forehead. Which I think she didn't have to do. That's just very strange beauty idea that everything has to be symmetrical. That's her with that very straight bangs. What's good here is that the bangs is slightly rounded. That's a bit better than if it was very straight. And also those small pieces on the sides to cover some parts of her face. Darker hair bangs. Now I like this. The bangs is rounded. It has those rounded pieces going to the back. So the overall effect and the overall shape of her hair is pretty softened. Plus makeup accessories and the dress I think that fits the whole look. So I I think that looks more all together. Here she has that very rich bangs, which also I think is nice. Nice because it's rounded and it has that rounded piece. Maybe people don't notice that, but that is important. The way you cut it, whether it's straight like that and then you have that angle, or it's rounded like this. Almost don't notice details like this, but sometimes it can change the whole look. Like on this picture, it's more straight here, you can see. So she looks more like a little girl, you know? Some chic is going away just because it just doesn't fit that depth delicacy and the roundness of the bones. Now watch this. Who would care about bigger forehead? Look at the gorgeous face. Why would you want to cover that gorgeous round face with those large, beautiful eyes, with those cute little lips? Look how wonderful that looks. And in this picture, yeah, she doesn't quite look like that very standard, like super balanced doll. But look at the character itself. Look at her being her. I think that's such a great example of when you're trying to correct something and you're basically correcting yourself. Amelia Clark. So I found some pictures of her when she had that slightly girly shorter fringe, which is actually pretty cute because of the weight of the face and the proportions of the face. I think she can pull that off pretty good. She starts looking more on a cuter side, but that femininity, you just can't hide it. So I found those pictures of her. Look at that, with those airy, soft lines by her face and in general her hair, how beautiful that looks, how sensual. I found her also with some trendy hairstyle. That wispiness fits her, I think, that looks good on her. Her face doesn't look heavy, so everything that is lighter on the face looks pretty cute. I would add a little bit of curve here. These women don't look as good with super coiffe, back combed hair, because it's just too big. It's for a bigger woman. They look slightly funny in that, but as soon as it has some air in the hair, that looks gorgeous. Another romantic, Kate Winslet. Again, no bangs very beautiful. Soft hair on the sides, hair pulled back with some volume, looks amazing because of those soft lines again. Curvy bang on the side, wavy bangs also look very cute. I found several pictures of her, I think also 90s hair trend, with her having that shorter hair with that shorter fringe. That wispiness is fine, she can pull that off. The vibe is from somebody else. Sometimes when feminine women do that type of haircut, they start feeling that their femininity plays against them. So they start feeling that femininity itself is spoiling their look and they try to get rid of the femininity, but not of the attributes that they made maybe by not knowing the theory of lines. And I think this is that case when it's too chopped off. There is no ornateness 
in that type of hairstyle even though it's slightly wispy and slightly rounded and also here like our favorite 90s hairstyle right with that wispy hair on the forehead drew barrymore very delicate and rounded facial features and body structure and when she was younger she was experimenting a lot she had curly bangs she had rounded small bangs especially in the 90s again that was very popular that type of layered haircut remember she was experimenting with different colored hair and with some angularity and that example is very close to Kate Winslet example, I think. I think it takes some femininity away. You can still read that femininity in the body, but the hair is trying to convince us that this femininity is something unwanted, which is totally opposite. And that's her with no bangs, with very soft and feminine lines. I think she looks gorgeous, and I think she looks like herself. Another romantic that I wanted to show you Root Nega. Very delicate bones, very rounded. Look how beautiful she looks with that slightly from the past century hairstyle. Curly, rich, but layered in the ends, so it would have some lightness. Or oh, that curly and rounded updo, amazing. I think that type of sleek hair also looks good on her. And I like that curly, slightly 50s pin-up vibe. I don't think that looks as good as the previous ones, just because of that chopped Hair. That sensual femininity and that sexiness kind of has to fight that fringe. Here she looks slightly more aggressive. I like that the hair looks light here. Maybe I would go for more curls here. Now let's go to a theatrical romantic. It's romantic with some sharpness and sharper bone structure. It's basically narrow hourglass, also very feminine ladies. So for them, lavish, ornate, rounded, soft and full hair look best. They don't look as good in severe geometrics again in blunt hairstyles, in wash and wear styles, and in two layered hairstyles. They need some richness. So, as we can see from the theory, they can look good with or without bangs. It just depends on how that bangs styled and how it's lying on their face. Salma Hayek, first of all, without bangs, very feminine. Side swept bangs look amazing when it's styled properly. When it's not super tousled and undone, it looks gorgeous. Some volume, not too much volume again, because these ladies are petite. They make that huge coiffe. Again, that's more for tall women. That's her a bit earlier with that more straight bangs. Now, straight lines can look pretty beautiful, I think, on, on them if they are styled rounded. Here in this picture, no volume on top of the hair. So it gives some simplicity. I think that takes some chic away a little bit from the overall look. If she would probably add some roundness on the bangs, maybe make them aside, slightly curtain bangs, and then add some volume on top, I think that would look amazing. Here she has bangs slightly on the side, slightly rounded. This type of bangs, I call that bangs from 2000s. I think in 2000s they loved separate hair, like very wispy and very big curl like that going right to the brow. Again, it's curly, it's very contrasted color. Maybe I would make it a little bit less tousled in this particular look. And now this bangs is slightly not for theatrical romantic, I think. It's too big and chopped. I think that looks more naturals. It's like being chopped, being cut with a razor. Yeah, that adds a lot of air to the hair. So that stiffness and that angularity kind of goes away a little bit. But the stylization of that by itself, I think it's just not repeating the structure. But maybe it's just the picture, the, the angle of the picture. Rachel McAdams. These bangs, I think, give her some simplicity. I think these bangs are more for flamboyant naturals or for naturals women. Long, slightly tousled, like free hair. She's lacking some ornateness here. I think because the bone structure of her face is so delicate and so tidy that kind of relaxed hair looks slightly like a wig looks like she needs a little bit more ornate frame she looks gorgeous without any bangs I think especially with that very well done hair like on this picture too I think she looks amazing with sleek hair on the back with some volume if you look on her with that wispy bangs I think again that brings some simplicity to her look some chic is going away when she's making that very simple girl out of herself here, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think maybe the hair color doesn't suit her very well in this case. I think she needs lighter hair. And here she made some experiments with darker hair color and some tousled and more natural kind of effect. That's just not about her bone structure. Not about her vibe. Look at that transparent skin. You can even see through her skin. That hair color, that volume and that severe cut of her fringe. Slight tousledness. I think that makes her look too simple and less chic and too heavy for her. 
she's too lightweight underneath. Also, I don't think that orange thing also looks good with her skin color. Nicole Schesinger, no bangs, ornate, sophisticated hair, beautiful. Here she is, more natural, with more air in the hair, also looks very nice. Here her hair is slightly more tousled. She looks beautiful when she opens her face. I think she looks more herself like that. Some years ago she was experimenting with bangs and that's the pictures I found. So here her bangs is pretty heavy and straight. Yes, it has some layering on the ends, so it would not look very, very chopped off. And I think that's good. It's good that it's rounded, but this bangs is more for natural women. Her facial bones and facial structure is getting simpler with that, my viewpoint. Side swept bangs. Here on this picture, again, lacking some chic, I think. She needs something simpler, more precise, more old-fashioned, I would say. More ornate. And here she is with very interesting experiment. Short bangs with rounded cut. Maybe she was inspired by Audrey Hepburn, but Audrey is a Ganin body type. So she does look a little bit different with that kind of bangs. And this lady, she is feminine. She's too feminine, I think. Especially with that super precise cat eye, with those kind of tattooed brows, I think that looks slightly aggressive, my viewpoint. 